Hi everybody on, welcome to another episode of J-Man's Road Rant. Welcome everybody to episode 38, J-Man's Road Rants. Before we get started, click the like, the subscribe, and the bell so you be notified when I upload again. Follow me on Twitter at JMan from KC. Now, the coroner's office in Wyoming has revealed the cause of death for Gabby Petito, and it is by strangulation. So I guess we can finally rule out all the people who thought it was suicide, because. I don't know anybody who actually could strangle themselves to death. And can we put to bed the, the issue that Brian Lundry did it? I, 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 like I said, I have no doubts. You could argue that, you know, in a fit of rage, whether she was beating on him or what have you, that he just got fed up with it and started choking her and, you know, killed her. And now he's on the run. Or you could say he just deliberately murdered her. But uh, I think it, this puts this to bed because honestly, if this is the love of his life and he stumbles across her dead body, you don't just drive home to Florida and then go on the run. You call the local authorities, say, I just found my dead fiance. Because it's not going to be his hands that are on her throat, right? The evidence would set him free. There's no reason for him to be on the run. Brian Lundry did it. That's why he's on the run. And now we know how he did it. He's strangling her to death. My prayers go out to the Petito family, uh, you know, and anybody who was related or knew of Gabby Petito. I, I just hope that Brian Lunder gets found soon so we can actually put that whole case to bed. Sad state. Anyway, that's the show. Uh, if you like it, hit the like button. Hit, leave a comment down below. Uh, hit the subscribe and the like so you can follow me. Know when, or hit the subscribe and the bell so you can know when I be upload again. And you can follow me on Twitter at JMan from KC. Thanks again for watching and have a good day.